One of my favorite things I like to do whenever I get a new bike, doing some upgrades or changing it up a little bit. Today's video, we're gonna be changing the stickers on my City Grounds Big Ripper. So I got a new sticker kit from Ride Out Supply. Stickers are inside right here. Fresh, fresh, fresh sticker kit that I can't wait to put on the bike. Just gonna change it up a little bit. Driving the bicycle bike shop right now. I am showing up and I didn't let them know I was coming. So let's hope that I'm able to work on my bike today. I just need to change the stickers on there. You feel me? Remove the old stickers. Hopefully they have a heat gun because I have no heat gun. And one of the things that make removing stickers off your bike is a heat gun. But it is hot outside today. Wow, Florida drivers. It is hot outside today and hopefully my bike's baking a little bit so that those stickers can come off. If not, I'll just have to do it by hand and hope for the best, hope they come out easily, but that's what we're gonna be doing. So I'll pick up the camera when we get to the bike shop. So right now we are currently about, I had to let that firefighter do pass, but we are currently about to pull up to bicycle where well, we are here now at bicycle about to pull into the parking lot and your boy Steez I just got me some Starbucks no heat gun so but I have to do it with our hands start slowly because we don't got no heat gun and I'm not trying to be here forever where's that All right, so we got the right side stickers off. It was definitely a pain taking those stickers off without a heat gun. I'm gonna go ahead and take off this side off camera. So speed up the process. And then I'm gonna show you guys the new stickers. All right, guys, we got both side stickers completely removed. Let's go over here and show you guys the new stickers. I already opened it up. Thank you for your support, LJ, Rattle Supply. Literally every sticker kit you guys order from Rattle Supply, you'll have your name signed and a thank you letter. So shout out to LJ and Maddie for that. So here, we're gonna be putting Steezy Films on the down tube. Film, we got a promo. Got to promo that channel because we're on our way to 100,000 subscribers. We're gonna be putting Rattle Supply on the forks. This is gonna be replacing the landing gear. Instead of the landing gear, we're gonna have right out supply. And then we're gonna have this ROS logo right there on the top tube, or the front tube, I should say. And then these extra miscellaneous stickers. I don't know what I'm gonna do with these yet, but might give them away. Who knows? But anywho. I'm gonna start installing these stickers. I'm gonna probably wipe the bike down real quick with some alcohol just to get any leftover glue that may still be on the bike off. Yeah, let's switch over to the GoPro.
new stickers are installed, guys. Currently letting them sit on there for a little bit, just so when I remove them, they don't peel off, but they came out clean. At first I was like, oh, I don't know how the black and black's gonna look on the frame, but with the chrome outline, it kind of helps, helps that black poke out a little bit. So nothing too crazy. And I am not the best when it comes to installing sticker kits, but if you guys want to learn how to do it or a better idea of how to do it, I'll have a video link down in the description below that you guys could check out of LJ helping me install stickers on the bike. But other than that, I'm going to let these sit on there for a little bit. Have a little upgrade that I'm going to do. Not too crazy, but I had this used. Yes, it is used. This is a ride out supply free will. It's a 15 tooth, so. You can make sure y'all hear it a little bit. Yep, it's a ride out supply free will, not an origin eight. I'm gonna be installing this. It's also a 15 tooth free will. And the one currently on there is a 16 tooth. So I'm gonna be removing the 16 tooth and putting this free 15 tooth on there. Down the line, I do plan on converting this bike to disc brakes, so not today, but in the future, this bike will have disc brakes. But for now, we're gonna make this have a 15 tooth on there. So it's gonna have a 36, 15. I've never ran that gear ratio before, so I'm not sure how it's gonna ride, but let's get this back wheel on, get this new free wheel, or used free wheel, I should say, installed and see how the bike rides. So this is the stock free wheel sound. Anybody needs a free will, come to bicycle and it'll be there. Reese is your friend, just in case I ever want to take this off in the future, I won't have any problems. So. No Willie out in the shop clip today. But, go ahead and show you guys this bike. So, got the new stickers installed. Ooh, you can see that reflective though. You can see that reflective though. I'm curious to see how a 3615 gear ratio is gonna ride. I've never ran that gear ratio, so. Let's see, it could be different. I might not notice a difference, but I think I will because usually, Whenever I put a 15 tooth free wheel on a bike, it just feels different. First wheelie with the new gear ratio. Woo. It's a little windy today and I don't trust these beat brakes. Not too shabby. Not too bad. It's definitely still on the heavier side still, but I don't know. I can't really tell a too crazy of a difference, but I could definitely tell a difference. Oh, that was a butterfly. <laughs> yeah. Whew. I'm gonna go ahead and go to my little spot. Okay. Jeez. Vibes today at the beach. Just made it to the beach. 
And now we get to do my favorite part that I always love doing when it comes to these sticker kits. And that is removing the plastic layer off the sticker so we can really see how it looks. Slowly do this part because I already rubbed over my stickers and made sure it was it was on there on there so I should be able to pull these off smoothly. Gotta save the turtles so just keep that like that. Same thing with this part. This part I like this. As I'm pulling it down, just rub along, make sure all the letters stick properly. See the turtles, same thing here. On the other side, slowly take my time because I don't want to mess this up. But woo, it's looking good. Looking good so far. Always a great feeling doing this part. And you're putting on those stickers. And last but not least, well, there's actually one more. This part right here. Same thing, make sure. think what do y'all think of this thumbnail <laughs> oh man shout out to ride out supply they killed it with this it's one of my signature kits right here for real I've, i use this this theme quite a few times on different bikes but never gets old never will grow old on me i knew that was gonna happen that came out clean. The bike looks so much cleaner. I might pull these pads off too. I don't think I'm gonna run the pads on this bike. Sheesh. Not a bike. Feels like mine. Oh yeah. And we got the chrome flake to go with the kit. Come on now, stop playing. Stop. Lane. Oh, it looks so good. Oh, the trash. In the trash. And let's head back to the bike shop. And I don't know how I feel. I mean, I can't really notice a difference, but there definitely is a difference in the way this bike wheelies. I just I don't I don't know. I don't really feel it too much. But the one thing I will say is the takeoff feels a little bit better you feel me at first it kind of had like a heavy takeoff when you first started pedaling but it feels easy it feels like a good bike i can cruise on but when it comes to fast wheelies i don't know i'm gonna have to put that to the test but i just can't really go to him on this bike with these stock brakes because i just do not trust v brakes i've had quite the amount of bad experience with v brakes so but Still do a little something. Whew. Yeah, this breaks are coming definitely real real soon for this bike. I I can't take these stock brakes no more. <laughs> 